So as I mentioned, in medicine we like to use um, big terms that can sometimes be confusing. And we also like to kind of break things up and provide some structure. And so we've done that for describing labour. And we've broken labour down into four stages. Um, so stage one um, is again then further broken up into two parts. So we have early labour and we have late labour, all part of that first stage of labour. I know it's pretty confusing. So within early labour, um, this is really quite straightforward. It's when your cervix is zero to three centimetres dilated or zero to three centimetres of opening. And this part of labour can often be done in your own home. Um, typically, we wouldn't have you stay in the hospital with us until your cervix is more than three centimetres open. The reason for this is not just because we don't want to have you there, um, because we're happy to have you at any time, but it's because this stage can be quite long. And the amount of time that every woman will spend in this phase is actually quite variable. I'm sure you've all heard stories of some women that had a very fast labour and some that had a very slow labour. And it's because of the variability in this particular early phase of the first stage of labour. So once you've reached three centimetres, there's a much more predictable pattern. Um, and the end goal is to dilate or for the cervix to open to 10 centimetres. And going from three to 10 centimetres, again, is a bit variable, but tends to be a little bit more predictable, especially more predictable than the early phase of labour. And on average, most women will dilate about one centimetre per hour. So we know at that point, you're going to be in the hospital with us for roughly you know six to eight hours until it's time to push the baby out and pushing baby out is the beginning of the second uh, stage of labor so once you get to be 10 centimeters dilated um, this is when we would then begin the pushing phase of labor and so um, transition we talked about that earlier what is transition um, and I've heard all sorts of great answers over the years of what that can be. But transition is a very uh, interesting time within in the body. There's a lot of neat physiological changes that are happening. But it's really when you become 10 centimeters and you transition from the first stage of labor into the second stage. And that's really all that term means. So with the second stage of labor, this is the pushing phase of labor. And um, people often like to know how long this is going to take. And again, it's quite variable. I'm sure you've, you've had family or friends who have delivered their babies very quickly and others who've had quite um, long phases of pushing. So in general, if this is your first delivery, you can expect to push for roughly around two hours. And sometimes it takes a bit longer, up to a third hour if you have an epidural. And if it's your um, second or third baby, it can be quite a bit shorter than this, usually up to about an hour, but sometimes even faster than that. Within the second stage of, of labour, that's when you would push baby out and I get lots of questions from my patients, how am I going to know how to push, you know, there's different ways that, that we can push and certainly there are, there's, there's different positions you can be in throughout your labour, there's different positions that we're going to help you with. Um, but it's a lot, it's a really tough thing to, to explain until you're there, but just trust me, women know how to do this, your, your body knows how to do this and I kind of equate it to knowing how to sneeze. No one had to teach you how to sneeze, you've just always known how to sneeze. And it's hard to believe, but when the time comes, you're going to know how to push. And if you do need a little bit of extra support or a bit of extra help, um, we're there for you. The, the doctor, the midwife, the maternity room nurses are going to give you some advice on how to do it maybe a little bit more efficiently. Um, or if, if you need a bit more help, um, we, can, we can support you in doing that. So after you have pushed your baby out in Chilliwack, um, we routinely deliver baby directly onto your chest um, and we call that skin to skin. And this is a really important time for you and your baby. Uh, lots of great things are happening within your baby's physiology at this moment. Um, amazing things are actually happening at this time. And we've got lots of good studies to show us that that, that um, skin to skin transition time is so important to regulate your baby's blood sugar regulate your baby's temperatures. So that happens routinely at Chilliwack Hospital um, and we work really hard to make sure that happens if you do require a cesarean section as well. Um, 
Typically, we would deliver baby directly onto your chest, and, and usually before this, we've had a chance to talk to you and talk to any other uh, support members that you might have in the room about what your wishes would be. I, I do have some mothers that really don't want baby on them right away, and if that's your choice, we're gonna do uh, whatever you would like. Um, so once baby is, is delivered, we would typically wait um, for about a minute, and we do delayed cord clamping at that time. And again, usually with a, with a previous discussion, I've talked to you and talked to your other support person to see who wants to cut the cord um, and that's a really fun moment that we all get to, to watch you enjoy as a, as a new uh, parental unit. So the final um, two stages, stage three and stage four, are very unexciting and happen quite quickly. Um, the third stage is after you've delivered your baby, the time from that to the delivery of the placenta. And usually the placenta will be delivered within around 30 minutes after the delivery of your baby. In North America, we do give you a medication called oxytocin. It's a very quick injection that we administer in your thigh. And most of my patients don't even feel it because they're so focused on the baby that I'm placing on their chest that they often say, what about that poke you told me about? They don't even know that they've had it. Um, oxytocin is a very important medication because it has dramatically reduced the amount of blood loss that women have. In many um, developing countries that it doesn't happen and it is actually one of the biggest causes of, of uh, maternal mortality from blood loss. So it is a really important step and something that we do routinely in North America. The final stage of labor, the fourth stage of labor, is the two to three hours after you have delivered uh, your placenta. And this is a very important time because we allow baby to remain um, either on your chest or on the chest of one of your support people for at least an hour to help pr promote um, that skin-to-skin -skin, uh, interaction. Um, this is also a very important time uh, if you choose to breastfeed, it's when we would start um, to initiate breastfeeding. Um, during this time in, in the exam room, um, you may still be having some small little contractions and, and I call these kind of aftershock contractions and they can be a bit more severe um, with your second or third um, pregnancy and delivery. Um, during this time, what's happening in the exam room is, is um, this is when I would be checking around the vaginal area just to make sure there are um, no tears or if there are tears, this is when we would do any repairing of the vaginal area. Tears are an unfortunately normal part of pregnancy. They definitely don't happen to everyone and um, that's part of uh, my job is to help you deliver your baby smoothly so we can minimize how much tearing you may have. Um, this is often something that people are very concerned about as well and so I encourage you to talk to your primary care provider um, if this is something that you're particularly worried about. Um, but we give lots of pain medication and for most of my patients when we're doing any kind of repair of the vagina, they're, they're not feeling too much of it because again, you're focused on this beautiful baby that I've now placed on your chest.